Rumors of Zaluzhny have a very negative impact on the morale of the Ukrainian army. False rumors circulated about the supposed resignation of Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces Valery Zaluzhny, according to a statement by Mikhailo Zurokov on Radio NV. It's very difficult to say anything specifically, but I will say one thing. It was not a fabrication from below, and this is not a work of PSYOP. Neither Russian nor ours, Zurokov said. It was a fabrication if it was a fake from the very top. However, highly placed sources personally told him that this information does not have a certain basis. It is difficult to know precisely what is going on behind closed doors among the country's military and political leadership, but Zurokov notes that this controversy will almost certainly affect the Ukrainian armed forces. This will have a very, very negative impact on the morale of the army, he said. And in times of war, engaging in such activities is, at the very least, wrong due to the risk of reaching a critical point of demoralization. On January the 29th, a number of Ukrainian media outlets, citing their own sources, reported Zaluzhny's resignation. A source in the National Security and Defense Council, speaking to publication Ukrainska Pravda, claimed that Zaluzhny was invited and offered an ambassadorial position, but refused. The Ministry of Defense, responding to rumors that Zaluzhny and Defense Minister Rustem Umarov had been fired, simply stated that this is not true. The rumors that President Volodymyr Zelensky had resigned Zaluzhny were also denied by the President's press secretary, Serhii Nikiforov. The President's office allegedly planned to change the entire line of leaders of the security and defense forces. The post of Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces may have been offered to the head of the Intelligence Service, Kirillov Budinov.